Hi everyone, welcome back to another Mentor Me episode and as you can see, I have a special guest. Hello. Could you say hi? Hi! To the- <laughs> so the people on Spotify can hear you. <laughs> Oops. Well, actually this special guest was in our last uh, deep dive episode, so you're probably already familiar with her, but we have Stephanie James. Um, and the reason why you are here today is because you had no choice. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> I was abducted by yeah, this is basically uh, our podcast uh, roster is very um it's very uh very interesting specific yeah but it's great because today we're gonna be talking about prayer mm-hmm. and I think Stephanie is a great person to talk about it because every time she talks about prayer I feel so like encouraged um okay also when she sings I'm very encouraged so <laughs> um let's get to the question. Uh, prayer is so important in our faith yet it is something many of us struggle with Mm -hmm. what is the evidence of a strong prayer life what are some struggles we face in prayer and how can we overcome them great questions very good question yeah what is the evidence of a strong prayer life um i feel like a lot of us would imagine like (gasps) fireproof You know, you know that movie Fireproof where she goes into like the the prayer closet and she's like on her knees and she's like I watched oh it but like, I don't remember. Yeah, I, I, I so I've never watched it but I always see that oh, okay. that video and I just think like that must be the evidence of a strong prayer life. Is this like fiery mm. black woman like on her knees like like you got to be like a black interceding woman. by f- like with fire, you mm. know, like yeah. Is yeah. that is that evidence of a strong prayer life? I mean Honestly, to me, the evidence of a strong prayer life is like, you know God and God knows you. Um, that's that's quite hard to prove when you talk talk about evidence. Um, yeah, because we always imagine like, oh, there has to be signs and wonders. Your prayers have to be like, Love. you pray something specific and then something specific happened the next day or yeah, immediately. Yeah, yeah. Effective, you know? right? It must be yes. super effective. Yes, but I feel like the evidence to me of a strong prayer life is you know God. And people... And the only... The only person who can like, like evaluate that is number one God, but also people. People know. Yeah, it's true. Um, yeah, and I'm reminded of um, John 15 where Jesus is like, "Abide in me, and I in you," and from that place we will bear much fruit and fruit that will last. Um, and I think that's something that differentiates between like hype or like. I don't know, fake stuff. <laughs> fake yeah, news. performance prayer. Yeah, performance is other fruits, fruits that will last yeah. through time. It's good. Yeah, so mm. just because you don't have, you know, your prayers answered immediately doesn't mean that... Your prayer life sucks. Yeah, <laughs> really. Um, that Having that conversation with the Lord is... The evidence of that is that you know Him. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah, I think strong, for me, like strong evidence of a prayer life is really meekness. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when someone doesn't try and control a situation but has so much authority in the spirit, like, and to bring it before God yeah. constantly, I think that's really strong evidence to me. Um, and also, like, that humility that comes out of this, I think it's a yeah. very powerful evidence. Uh, at least a, a more, like, it's an evidence that we can Tangible. sort of see. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like someone who's really humble and like all glory goes to God. Like, it's not the fake modesty kind, like the yeah. put yourself down, like, oh, it's not me, it's not me. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, well, I prayed. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the Lord answered, you yes. know, and the Lord came through for me. I think that's really strong evidence. And, and that's what I actually would like to see more in my own life. Like, I feel like I still very humanly try and control things and make things happen and change things. But, I feel like more and more the conviction in my heart is like I want I want my first response to be I need to pray mm-hmm. you know I need to bring this before God yep. first before I say anything about yeah. anything to anyone you mm-hmm. know yeah because right now I still kind of uh, you're, doing well. you're doing well you're doing well I know I know we're all doing well <laughs> you're doing well you're doing well <laughs> yes. right so yeah. what what is the evidence of oh no not evidence what's the struggles that that we might have in prayer we were just texting about yeah, this yeah I was like I struggle right now <laughs> yeah I'm struggling too right now like in in prayer I'm just like, like I'm not I'm just not a very disciplined person I feel like oh it's so hard I can't even wake up early sometimes sometimes Every I day. can't even wake up early <laughs> <laughs> me neither so you're not alone you're not alone <laughs> yeah um I think well the struggle is like we just don't show up to pray right. And I was just reflecting on this. I was like, why? Why Why are there times where I just like, I'd rather do 10,000 other things. And then I realized very sadly that it is really because, um, uh, what, uh, I wrote here something. Oh, First John 
4, verse 78 says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has, uh, has been born of God and knows God. So anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. Essentially what he's saying is that the more you know God, the more you love God. And a prayer problem is actually a love problem, <sighs> which is it's really true. a revelation problem. It's so so in, moment, in moments like that, what I do is, I got to go back to the word. Don't even start with prayer. Just go back to the word and like, God, show me who you are again. And the easiest place to do that, honestly, for me is the Psalms because I don't even need to like, like look to the passage and look for a passage that like talks about God. You know, the Psalms all talk about God, who God is. And it's always so expressive. Yeah. Um, uh, if you are like feeling discouraged, a lot of like lamenting going on there that you can easily identify with but it always like directs our hearts back to God and who he is and there's so much sweetness in the Psalms that every time I feel like Lord I need to reconnect with you I feel like I don't enjoy being in your presence how can that be yeah, yeah, you know yeah, almost yeah, like yeah. that I go For back sure. to the Psalms yeah. um, and that always brings alignment um, yeah. yeah so that was just it's true wow it's a, it's a love problem it is and right. I think I think a big part of it is also like a distraction problem. Yeah. Because like it's not that we don't love God. Yeah. It's just that we kind of got distracted. Yeah. <laughs> and just things kind of pile, yeah, pile on top of each other, right? And yeah. it, and it's not that you love those other things that you're doing more than you love God, but I think it's really that you love God so deeply, but there are all these other things as humans yeah. we get distracted. So, you know, I think I think it's a very real struggle. Yeah distraction like i'm so distracted by my phone and the news these days oh yeah the phone man like you know i can have my bible open but then i'm just on the news oh. on my phone it's like i usually just hide my phone i know <laughs> i should do that <laughs> just, just like leave well. it somewhere and then sometimes i literally forget where it is <laughs> that's great that's great uh aspire to be like you mm. um okay so how can we overcome then how can we overcome this like love uh you said reading the psalms yeah i think for distraction yeah. i think a big part of distraction is yes like lock your phone away yeah that's a real one i had i used to tell my students that all the time but i don't do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh. you, you know it's okay if you don't check your notifications it's okay if you don't reply people immediately yeah it's okay and and i think you know i was just talking to ian the other day about this like he's like yeah praying more and coming back to first love is really important but sometimes you really need to cut off things mm. he says there's no other way around it like mm -hmm. if you're feeling distracted then you gotta cut it off like there is no other solution to distraction cut off the eyeballs cut off, no don't cut off the eyeballs <laughs> cut off your right hand <laughs> your right hand cut off the phone thing. yeah so like even things like um, turning off data when you're on the road like mm -hmm. or, or or you know actively fasting from social media or from reading things that is not the bible you know mm -hmm. like those things could be really uh, powerful in rekindling that passion yep. for for prayer and conversation with god again yeah it's like when you eat tim tam before lunch yeah and then you don't eat the tim tam <laughs> yeah just don't just don't buy tim tams in general yeah, Tim Tam is like distractions. Like the other things that we eat that just uh, dulls our appetite for God. The real stuff, which is lunch. The good stuff. <laughs> the healthy lunch. The healthy lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but we love the rubbish, don't we? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Junk food. It's true. Okay, so so what are some ways we can overcome these struggles then? I think here are some really good, good, good points. Yeah, I I really like praying scripture. I think... Um, it's always like okay Lord I made time for you I'm here now then you're like okay but well, what do I do <laughs> <laughs> or, you, or, or maybe you have a prayer list and then you're like ah. oh I finished in five minutes what oh, do yeah, I do yeah, now yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know so I feel like praying scripture and I mentioned briefly just now about going to the Psalms but you know anywhere in the Bible that speaks to you um, it, you know you could start with a situation you have in mind like Lord I'm really anxious about this then what are some verses that talk about not being anxious? Um, you know, opening that up and not just reading it, but praying it. So two ways to respond to what you read is really um, think about what uh, promises you have to believe and what truths you have to obey. So promises to believe, for example. Um, what, what example? Do not be anxious mm. about anything, but yeah. in everything through prayer and supplication. Yeah, or like, you know, that passage about the sparrows. Yeah. Right? Do Where the Lord feeds the sparrows. So why are you worried about 
what are you going to eat? What are you going to drink? What are you going to wear? So that's like a promise to believe. Like, the Lord, like Lord, you you close the sparrows. So I'm going to believe that you take care of me because I'm worth so much more, right? So then praying it like, Lord, I believe that you're my provider. I believe that you're going to take care of tomorrow. I believe that you love me more than you love the sparrows. I believe that, you know, you're a creator, God. You provide, you can provide me with anything that I need, everything that I need. Um, so that's a way to pray the truths that are in scripture and believing God's promises. And then, of course, things that you need to obey. What are some things that I need to obey? Like, you know, um... Uh, yeah, like be transformed by the renewing of your mind, yeah. right? Um, or do, do, what was it? Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, let your prayer and supplication be made known to the Lord. So then you're like, okay. Through Thanksgiving. Yeah, through Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. <laughs> so so how do I obey God's yes. word in that? And I just have thanks. to like not be anxious and give thanks. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And yeah. then and pray and, and ask the Lord like, hey, this is so God, good. this is my problem. But... So I'm going to believe and I'm going to trust and I will obey you when you say that I shouldn't worry. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's that's what praying scripture is like. So the next time you're like, oh, I got nothing to pray. I really don't know what to pray. Then instead of like wrecking your brain, coming up with creative ways, why don't we just pray God's truth? You know, um, there's another passage that I wrote down. Let me see. First uh, John 5, verse 14 to 15. says, uh, This is the confidence we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the requests that we make, uh, that we have asked of him. Um, yeah, so how do we know that we are praying in accordance with his will how do we know that we're asking in accordance with his will it's really by praying scripture yeah because that's like that's yeah, god's yeah. will for us yeah, unchanging will yeah and and that's his that's who he is that's yeah. what he wants um so when we pray scripture we have the assurance that yeah this will come to pass for yeah. me for my life so good mm-hmm. yeah i love I, I one thing i learned from steph is praying scripture and I realized that I do it a lot more now. Yeah, yeah. all the time. Yeah, because um, <laughs> first of all, it's a, a cheat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's like, why try and reinvent the wheel? Just right. pray what the saints have been praying for years. And it's so powerful. Um, and there are also, you know, those those books. I, I received a, a book from a friend once, um, The Prayer of the Saints. So like, you know, back in the day when people used to write. <laughs> <laughs> in the 16th century 17th century um, there, there are all these uh, powerful mm-hmm. prayers written by saints um, and you know I, I find them so like comforting to pray those prayers and read those prayers um, you know you don't always have to pray from them and read what they say but but whatever they pray actually it was like oh I never thought of that like like there's something that could fuel your mm-hmm. prayer life as well mm-hmm. Um, I think the other thing you were mentioning about scripture is that your quiet time can be so much more dynamic if you make it a conversation yeah. rather than just like in in we we sometimes think of reading the Bible as like Bible study and like information like mm-hmm. oh this happened you know yep, yeah. yeah or like God why are you speaking to me but it can also be Lord like I pray back to God like yeah. like pray this verse back to Him and then receive what He has to say about it to us yeah yeah um. I think the the last thing that I have to encourage everybody here is if you find it hard to pray alone, pray people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just, <laughs> I mean, uh, I know I know it sounds crazy, uh, but sometimes when I tell Singaporeans like I don't know if this is a thing like in other countries, but I I tell Singaporeans like why don't you just pray with your friends like at at lunch mm-hmm. or they're like huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you huh? can do that. You, yeah, you can. Like or or when I offer to pray for somebody like at coffee and they're like oh now it's like yeah <laughs> it's like you know because you always say like I'll pray for you and then uh, and then you 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 sort of pray in your mind you pray something but like why not just encourage the person pray and just then pray then. there and then you know or like if there's a situation that is bothering you you can just ask your friend to pray with you in that in that very space. Dell's done it for me a few times. Thank uh, you. Um, yeah so you know I was in Korea with some friends and you know the entire church service because they are planting a church right Um, the entire church service is actually reading scripture and praying (laughs) oh nice yeah there is no big sermon maybe someone has a bit of sharing from the Mm -hmm. scripture but everyone reads like there's a word that the spirit lays on on their heart and they just pray into that and they Mm -hmm. pray for everybody in the room and 
I just remember being so ministered to by the presence mm-hmm. of God because first of all, everyone is participating in mm-hmm. this. And second yeah. of all, it's like it's not I'm not looking to one person to yeah. pray for me. It's like everyone has that that you know, that responsibility to pray for one another as the saints, right? So, you know, and, and then the whole week I was just kind of going to Bible studies with friends like in cafes and these are like cool people, you know, they're not like, <laughs> like we think of like, like a bit nerdy, like, aunties. yeah, they're not aunties, you know, they're like cool creators. They like, are really, really cool, I met some of them. Yeah, <laughs> super cool people and I'm so amazed always that like, where they're like, let's do Bible, you know, let's pray together and I'm just so moved by that and I think after coming back to Singapore, I kind of forgot because we we're so busy. Mm. But actually praying with people is powerful. Mm. Um, and so, you know, if you're struggling to pray alone. Grab a friend. Grab a friend at coffee. Just make it a point. It doesn't have to be long prayers. Just make it a point. Say like, like when I meet my friend today, we're going to start with a word of prayer if they're a believer. And if they're not a believer, then make an effort to say like, um, if they share something that bothers them, mm. I'm going to say, I'm going to ask like, hey, can I pray yeah. for you now? And then just make it short and sweet. Like don't do the whole Christianese things where it's like... <laughs> Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Like, <laughs> yeah, great. We hope this episode has been helpful for you in encouraging you in your prayer life. And as usual, if you have any questions, you can leave us a message in our social media or send us an email. You can find us. It's 2023. <laughs> um, that's all for today. I'm going to pray. We should pray. <laughs> yes <laughs> let's pray father god we just thank you um even for the privilege that we can offer prayers everywhere anywhere we are yeah. we no longer have to go to a place to pray um, but lord we can be in your presence anywhere and then we just ask for every person who's listening to this that your presence will be made known to them lord that you will encourage them even um, in their faith journey to to converse with you to love you and to be encouraged in loving one another as well we just pray lord for wisdom um and just uh, for that sweet tenderness of being able to commune with yes. you uh, everywhere that they are. We just bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.